It's 10 trivia questions on B words. And don't worry, none of them are uh, swear words. Not yet. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. Today's episode is about B-words and what a perfect person to profile from my Patreon page. And that was a lot of alliteration on letter P. Perfect person, Patreon page. But hey, it worked out good. Flowed off the tongue. Uh, Greg Bristow, my friend Greg from Glendora, California. Shout out to uh, Cam and Greg and their daughter, and uh, 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 Cam's mom, who uh, all have played my trivia nights around Laverne and Upland and places like that in California. Miss you guys. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while, of course, uh, since I live in Tennessee now. But uh, Greg is a big fan of 80s movies, as far as I know. He likes things like Ghostbusters and Blues Brothers and pretty much any Dan Aykroyd movie. Even that one, Nothing But Trouble, which is very disturbing in a junkyard setting. But uh, shout out to Greg Bristow and family and uh, hope you guys are doing well and enjoying the show if you still listen. I know that sometimes when you listen to podcasts, they just kind of pile up, (laughs) especially this one that comes out almost every day. And uh, maybe you catch up, maybe you don't. But uh, all the episodes always here for you, uh, about 1,400 of them in the archives. There's no paywall. Uh, You can listen to any of them anytime you want. And uh, just a heads up on the podcast app on your iPhone. It only goes back, I think, 100 episodes or 50 episodes. If you want to listen to all the episodes, something like Spotify has the entire library since the uh, very beginning in 2016, 17. I forget how old this show is. But go check all that out. And if you need help finding old, old episodes, uh, let me know. The show used to be very different. It used to be more of a conversational show with some trivia mixed in. And then um, over the last three years, kind of shifted over to specifically just trivia and uh, not too many guests and things like that. Although I do miss having guests and uh, would love to have some guests on soon to promote some things and to uh, just converse with more people. (laughs) So if you're interested in doing something like that, let me know. Greg's been on the show before quite a bit, maybe two or three times. So again, thank you, Greg. Thanks for supporting on Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. B word answers coming up right now. Let's dive into 10 of them. Here we go. Starts with B. Let's see if you can get all these answers. Number one, what 80s band had the songs Manic Monday and Eternal Flame? Number one, what 80s band had the songs Manic Monday and Eternal Flame? Number one. Number two, Stephen John is a Canadian YouTube personality better known to whom around kids. Number two, Stephen John is a Canadian YouTube personality, better known to kids as whom? Starts with a B. Number two. Number three, what is the name of the assistant coach on Ted Lasso? Number three, what's the name of the assistant coach on Ted Lasso? Number three. Number four, David Boreans played Seely Booth on what TV show? Number four, David Boreans played Seely Booth on what TV show? Number five, what department store started in New York City in 1861? Number five, what department store started in New York City in 1861? Number six, Whitney Wolf created what dating site in 2014? Number six, Whitney Wolf created what dating site in 2014? Number seven, what French holiday is celebrated yearly on July 14th? Number seven, what French holiday is celebrated yearly on July 14th? Number eight, what is the last name of the pesky neighbors 
with lots of wild dogs in a Christmas story. Number eight, what's the last name of the pesky neighbors with lots of wild dogs in a Christmas story? Number eight. And number nine, what 2021 concert series was canceled due to flooding just south of Nashville, Tennessee? Number nine, what 2021 concert series was canceled due to flooding just south of Nashville, Tennessee? And number 10, Blank Crouch Jr. is an adamant follower of Voldemort in the Harry Potter series. Number 10, Blank Crouch Jr. is an adamant follower of Voldemort in the Harry Potter series. Those are all your questions on Starts with B. We'll be right back with those B word answers after this noise. We are back with Starts With B Answers. Let's see if you got them all. Number one, what 80s band had the songs Manic Monday and Eternal Flame? That was Bangles, the Bangles, number one. Number two, Stephen John is a Canadian YouTube personality, better known as Blippi, who is on in my house way too often. A little too close for comfort with the voice of Blippi blaring from my television screen. Although they put out a new like haunted house or Halloween special with Blippi, and they have another actor portraying him because I think the guy that created him doesn't want to do it anymore, but just wants to kind of sit behind the empire, which I think is a smart move. But I've heard parents are mad. They're like, that's not the real Blippi. It's like, come on. <laughs> First of all, your kid is already probably grown out of Blippi by the time you realize it's not the real Blippi. Here's number three. What is the name of the assistant coach on Ted Lasso? It's Beard, Coach Beard on that show. I still have to watch the season two finale, which I heard was interesting. Number four, David Boreans played Celie Booth on the TV show Bones. I was actually an extra on Bones about 10 years ago, 2011, 12. Actually, it had to be 12 or 13 because I moved to LA in 2012. And I was a Cerebus employee. Um, in a couple of scenes where he's running around. There was like a terrorist in a building or something. I've never seen the show, even the one I was on, but there's a screenshot of me somewhere on Bones. Number five, what department store started in NYC in 1861? Bloomingdale's was the answer there, Bloomingdale's. Number six, Whitney Wolf created what dating site in 2014? Bumble. People meeting on Bumble, bumbling around. Number seven, what French holiday is celebrated yearly on July 14th? Bastille Day, Bastille Day. And number eight, what is the last name of the pesky neighbors with lots of wild dogs in a Christmas story? Bumpuses, the Bumpus family. Bumpuses, B-U-M-P-U-S, Bumpus, number eight. Number nine, what 2021 concert series was canceled just south of Nashville, Tennessee, because they had a lot of flooding? Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo, probably a lot of money lost there. And number 10, Barty Crouch Jr. Barty is the answer there. An adamant follower of Voldemort in the Harry Potter's series harry potter series rather so there you have it 10 questions and answers starts with b i hope you got a 10 out of 10 on those cues and i hope you enjoyed the a's uh, special thanks to all my patreon subscribers go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and see what you can get as a reward for supporting this show monthly we have a brand new supporter Shout out to uh the newest supporter of the podcast vernon Higi. Thank you so much for your patronage, Vernon Hege. Uh, Glad to have you on board and so glad you dig the show enough to support it monetarily monthly. Be like Vernon, guys, and uh, throw a few bucks if you got them. We have a fact of the day for you. The fact is the elephant is the only animal with four knees. Only animal with four knees. An elephant. If you didn't know that, now you know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.